If you've watched my channel for a little while, you know that I'm a big fan of Barbasol shaving cream. I've used it for decades now. And before I got into wet shaving with, you know, fancy brushes and fine soaps, this is what I used. I just like it. I still use it to this day. And what I've done in the past few years is find older versions of Barbasol, both online, uh, some were sent to me, and I wanted to show you a little, just a little mini museum of Barbasol stuff. And then that will lead up to shaving with this Barbasol with menthol from, from what I can tell by the graphics, because there's not a date on it. This could be from the 50s or maybe the very early 60s. Anyway, I haven't used this one before and it's inside the tube and in the box and it's mentholated, which I love. So let's take a little, uh, take a little tour of just a few of the things I have here and then we'll start shaving with this new old Barbasol. Um, well, first of all, the razor is a Barbasol razor. This is from the 1930s. I'm gonna show you how it loads because it will get it ready as I show you. It's a two piece, so the top just, you know, you unscrew the handle, little top piece comes off. And then you grab your favorite razor blade, in this case, a feather, of course, always using feather. And you take in this one with this razor, because every razor is a little bit different as far as how you load it. You just place the head of the razor and then place the razor blade right on top. And then do this straight down, boom. And then you start screwing the little handle in. And then when it engages, then you can turn it over and finish. So it tightens down. Now make sure that the blade is in there straight so that there's the same amount shown on each side. All right, Barbasol razor from the 30s. It actually says Barbasol right around there. Okay, now, for, in chronological order, as far as I can tell, let's go back to the oldest first. We got some from the 1940s. This is, this is uh, I used this a while back. This is a little bitty tube, 25 cents at the time. This was sent to be my uh, friend of the channel from Australia. So this was in Australia. I used this recently. Here's what this tube looks like. It's got a kind of a black, almost like a, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, hexagon on top. A little lid, and there we go. I'll put this back in here. So this is from the 1940s. And then the vintage Barbasol that started it all for me was this big giant one I got off eBay a few years ago. It's huge. Look at the difference in the box size here. See that? Sorry, I got a phone call. Here's the, <laughs> oops, sorry. Here's the difference. This is the mammoth tube. Do you see that? And this is like the normal one. Anyway, this one I use, oops, this is the first one I ever used, vintage one. And uh, it's got a little round cap on it. Yeah, there you go. You're getting, you're getting the history of Barbasol caps. You know what Barbasol used to do back in the old days? They used to do a lot more. It used to be, let's see, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's not on this one. It's on, oh yeah, yeah, here it is. Sorry. <laughs> Soothes discomfort of sunburn, windburn, chafing, chap skin, and insect bites. I don't know, my mom, if I get bit by a mosquito, I might try the modern and see if it also helps. So there's the mammoth tube. That's from the 50s, the early 50s. And then uh, this one that I'm going to use is probably from the 60s, maybe the late 50s. I'm not sure. I wish they'd put a date on it. They didn't. Here's one, a travel size from the 60s. This is a little travel size when you just squeeze this down and the foam comes out. I actually have two of these. The other one's in the package right here. See, look at that. I've cornered the market on vintage travel size Barbasol, so don't even look for it. Okay, let's jump ahead to the early 70s and we go to the, the can that you know. It's no longer a tube, it's now a can. This is from about 1972 or so, the Beard Buster. Now it doesn't, no more with the windburn and the, and the insect bites, it's now just busting your beard. Getting down to business. And then, now I don't have any from the 80s, but these are what, this is what it looked like in the 80s to me. Now this is the one that you notice from, uh, from Jurassic Park. Uh, a little bit different, the can is slightly different. But this is kind of the one that I started using back in the 80s. And then, let's jump to the 90s, and this is Barbasol Gel, Lemon Lime. Is that, could this be, the graphics on this be more 90s? 90s are big right now, with the kids, with the folks. And then, well, okay, the most, the most rare Barbasol that I own is this one right here. It's a gem. Enough said, I don't even need to talk about this one anymore. All right, and then in 2019 for their 100th anniversary, they went with a retro looking package. And so I collected a few of those. I got, I think, three of those. And it's similar. You know, you had the stripes going on. You got the stripes here. 
keeping that stripes thing going. And here's the, the blue and red stripes. And that brings us to, finally, our mentholated Barbasol. I know. Let's get on with it, shall we? I have not used this. I don't, I, I may have opened it to smell it, but this thing is unused. Now, something I learned from the big mammoth tube, I need to shake it up in case it's, it's uh, separated a little bit. And if you watched my video from last time, the one just previous to this, I used some Barbasol. I used this Barbasol and then some uh, other shaving cream in a can from the 70s. And I gotta tell you, afterwards, my chin was kind of itching. I think there may have been something weird in those old cans. Anyway, let's shave with this new stuff and see if uh, my face just melts off or if I can just shave like normal. Now, I didn't shave yesterday, so I'm ready to go. I took a shower, did my hair, gonna put some hot water, because I've been talking a long time, I apologize. Put some hot water on my face. Don't ever try to start shaving like this with the uh, you know, without putting some water on your on your whiskers. Just try to soften them up. You'll thank me later. Okay, we got the Barbasol razor with a fresh feather blade in it. We got the Barbasol with menthol from, look at the end, I mean, that, that looks perfect. Now I have had some vintage uh, uh, shaving cream in tubes like this that kind of looked a little, little funky and off, but this one seems to be okay. So here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it for the first time. It's been it's been waiting its whole life to be used. Let's see if it comes out. Ah, look at that! Beautiful. Came out beautifully. Look at that. And it doesn't smell too bad. It smells like uh, it doesn't smell like modern Barbasol. It smells like its own. That was a weird move. <laughs> it smells like its own thing. Oh, it's got a little bit of a funk. Now, I've noticed some of the other vintage Barbasols have a funk, so I'm gonna... This is, oh, if you're not familiar with this, this is not a foaming shaving cream. This is brushless. It's a brushless, no lather, no rub in. You just do this. And actually, Barbasol recently came out with their Barbasol 1919, which is very similar to this idea, where it's not a, like a foam out of a can. It's actually, let me show you, it's like a little, it's a cream. It's a non, you know, it's a little bit similar looking, you know, this stuff. I love this stuff. Try it out if you haven't tried it out yet. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more on. See, this is all you do. You just put it on and I'm getting a little bit of the menthol smell and it doesn't smell too bad. It smells a little bit medicinal. That's something I've learned about older Barbasol formulations. They're more medicinal, you know? Maybe to kind of go along with that, you know, chapped chapped skin and sunburn and insect bites, you know, you just kind of get in covering all your bases. So maybe if it smells slightly medicinal, then, uh, you know, feel like it's doing something. Okay, can you tell? Just a little bit on there? Let's see how it goes. It actually smells pretty good. Doesn't smell bad. I'm hoping it gives cushion and protection and slickness. It's pretty slick. It's actually pretty slick. I need to wash it off. You know, when you use these, uh, you know, kind of latherless or brushless uh, shaving creams, uh, they really are more like a cream and they do have a tendency to clog your, your safety razor a little bit and probably more so if you're using a cartridge razor. So remember after, you know, every pass or two, go ahead and give it a little wash. I'm just really just kind of, I got a little basin down here, you know? It seems to be doing pretty good. Like I said, I didn't shave yesterday. I was lazy. I like to shave just about every day. I'm kind of speaking more to the people that maybe haven't seen my channel before. All you regulars, you know it. You know the story. Bobby Barbasol, the Barbasol boy. That's me. That's me. I'll put some more water in here because I keep when I'm washing this thing out, I'm splashing it out. But I'm actually very impressed. This this tube of shaving cream is actually well kept. It wasn't kept in like a hot garage for 50 years. It seems to have been well kept. <laughs> I'm so eloquent. Such a master of the language, aren't I? Just repeat the same thing twice and then make it seem like I said two things. 
I am glad they changed their scent and I'm glad that this stuff does not smell like this stuff. Cause this is a little too medicinal. It's just not, it doesn't, it doesn't hit the modern nose. Uh, like, like we're used to, you know, like back maybe in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, this is more like what they smell like. It's not bad. It's just different, you know? I keep trying to get uh, my good friends over at Barbasol to make this, but in, sh in uh, aftershave lotion, because I love the smell of it, but I don't use it that often. I tend to go more towards the, the foaming ones and the shaving soaps that I lather up, you know? Okay, all right, so wash this off, wash my face off, and we'll give it a second pass, shall we? I know, it, it seems a shame to use new old stock stuff, but I mean, that's what it was made for, right? That's what it was made for. I use about the same amount, and then I'm gonna close it up for now. I tried not to deform it too much. And I didn't do, there's a little bit of a dent to prove that it worked. All right, this stuff really is slick. It actually is very slick, feels good. It doesn't show up as much when you don't have whiskers. You see, it doesn't catch and all the whiskers. This is another reason why I like uh, using shaving soaps, shaving creams that I lather up, because I can keep track of what I've shaved. Sometimes I forget when I use these, like, did I do my chin yet? Did I do one of my double chins, or did I just do, did I shave both my chins, or just one? Huh, punk? You feeling lucky? <laughs> Does anybody remember Dirty Harry? Yeah. You're my age. All right, second pass across the grain with the Barbasol razor from the 30s. I don't know if you can hear, but it's raining on the skylight. A little, uh, little relaxation. A relaxing rainy shade with your old pal, Bobby Barbasol. All right. This is doing really well. This, is, this might be the best quality vintage Barbasol I've used. Now, before they came out in these metal tubes, they came out in these little glass jars, and you see a million of those for sale on eBay, but 99.9% .9 of them are empty. They're just, you know, just the empty jar, but I need to be able to try to buy one of those brushless Barbasols in a jar with the stuff in it, and hopefully in, like, a decent condition so I can try it out. I had a, had a guy uh, contact me on Instagram saying he just bought like a pristine jar of it off Etsy. I was like, oh, Etsy. Etsy has that kind of stuff too, not just eBay. Is Etsy worldwide? I'm not sure. Pardon my ignorance. I'm an old man. I'm not supposed to know everything about all these things. I know just enough to pretend like I know what I'm talking about. You know, maybe, and I know this would never happen because it would take so much for the manufacturing and the testing and to get the scent right, but if they had the original recipe, as it were, for the scent of this Barbasol, I think it'd be cool to like release it just as a boutique item. Like try to recreate it exactly with the little metal tubes. I know it's not, you know, it's not gonna happen, but I think it'd be kind of cool. So everybody could smell what this sort of uh, slightly medicinal, soapy scent is like. I wish I could be more eloquent in my description of it. I'm just kinda, I'm gonna do, this is this, I'm not gonna do three passes, I'm just gonna do the two, but I'm gonna do a little touch up run, you know, around the face. I gotta remember to put this back in the safe. Yeah. Okay, all right. A Little bit here, you know what I'm gonna do? Since I already put the top back on, I'm gonna grab some of this modern Barbasol, put it down here, just in the problem areas. It's always the neck, it's always the edge of the chin. Those are always the problems. I'm gonna go at an angle, a little bit more swiftly this time. Oh, I love the smell of that stuff. I'm sorry to all my uh, foreign uh, uh, viewers that can't get a hold of Barbasol in your store, or if you do, you gotta pay some insane amount to get it to you. Maybe one of these days. 
I'll go on a little tour across Europe and uh, hand out little little cans of Barbasol. Not the little tiny cans, but the, you know, cans, little cans. All right, let me get under my nose here. So I'm getting a weird mix of the mentholated medicinal and the modern. The mentholated medicinal and the modern. I love alliteration, don't you? All right. <laughs> Ooh, I got some Nick. See, I went too fast. You see that? Word of word of warning. Warning. Don't go too fast. All right, cold water. And then let's stop some bleeding with an alum block, shall we? You ever heard of an alum block before? Looks like this. Now, they don't all look like this. This looks like deodorant, but it's just a little, uh, it's made out of uh, potassium, alum, and water. So what it does is it's an astringent, and it tightens up the pores on your skin, and you can feel it, boy, it tingles. It, it hurts a little bit. But what it'll do is take those little tiny nicks and kind of close them up because your skin like goes Zzzz. And if you accidentally get this on your lips, it's like, it's like you just were weaned on a lemon, you know? Pucker up, buttercup. So just do this until you see that you're not bleeding anymore. Now you can use a styptic pencil. I don't have one of those right now. But this is a great one from Shave Nation. I also bought this one on Amazon. You know, they're not expensive. You can get that off Amazon. Alum, A-L-U-M, like aluminum or aluminum, as our friends say. All right, I'm gonna stop for a second. There's gonna be one there and one there. Ooh, I did get a little bit of alum on my lip. I'm gonna just wash off with it. And then finally, the aftershave. I don't have any vintage Barbasol aftershave, but I do have some modern stuff that I'm gonna pull out down here. If I can find it, there it is. Barbasol, my, that's right. I do need to like build a little like shelves up there and put all these back behind me. I'm probably not gonna do that, but uh, something I probably should do. You see those guys on YouTube with their fancy shaved ends and their fancy woodwork. Unfortunately, I don't have those woodworking skills. All right, always use aftershave of some kind, whether it's a lotion or a splash like this. Ooh, that smells like a barbershop. Barbershop, you know, those classic barbershop scents. Love it. All right, so the verdict on the Barbasol with menthol, the giant, 69 cents. Was it, is there another one on there? Yeah. Printed in the USA, no brush, no lather, no rub in. Just put it on your face and begin. There's a little song that goes like that. I can't remember exactly. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for joining me on this highly Barbasol-filled journey. And uh, that's it. I hope you found it somewhat entertaining and enjoyable. Leave a comment. I read every single one of them. And now it's time for me to bid adieu. See you on the next one. Bye. Oh, shucks.